What's up, guys? I'm here at EdCon, and today, or I would say my second interview, is I got John Pacific, who's a cryptographic engineer at New Cipher. John, how you doing, bro? I'm very well. How are you? Well, my first question is this, right? So you and I have been talking about earlier, is I want you to tell everybody what New Cipher is. Sure. So New Cipher is a decentralized uh, blockchain, or it's a, it's a blockchain privacy layer, uh, which essentially is a somewhat like a key management system that allows... Uh, Pro that allows us to, through the power of proxy re-encryption, allows us to share data uh, in otherwise public networks uh, like IPFS or S3, for example, and share that with uh, people as scalably and as needed and arbitrarily. So my question is, why should anyone even care? Uh, so if you're storing, for example, medical data, right, you obviously don't want to put that on IPFS because it's public. Mm. So what you would do is you'd encrypt it, and then port it to store on IPFS. But the issue is, how do you uh, scalably share that data with multiple people? So many of our uh, users, such as Metablock, uh, have done this where now they store the data and they encrypt it under their own keys. And using proxy re-encryption, they can uh, uh, allocate access to it uh, arbitrarily to an, any number of users. Uh, and again, this is through proxy re-encryption. So essentially, normal public key encryption happens because Right, Alice can encrypt something with Bob's public key, mm -hmm. and then Bob can decrypt it with his private key. Proxy re-encryption allows us to essentially uh, grant access as needed. So Alice will encrypt it with her own key, and then Bob can request access from Alice, and then uh, Alice can grant access using the new Cypher network. So she generates re-encryption keys, distributes them to the network, and then Bob goes to the network and requests access. If it's within a certain time frame or within a valid policy, then he will be able to decrypt the data. So what are some businesses right now that would actually use New Cypher? Um, so we've got uh, Bluezell right now using us for access control. Uh, we have uh, Fluence, Volk, uh, Datum for decentralized uh, for data marketplace, um, uh, Mediblock I just referenced. Uh, we have a few uh, people in our Discord channel that are actually very interesting that we haven't officially made any partnerships with, but we will hoping mm -hmm. to get this finalized soon. Cool. And so what's a roadmap in the near, let's say, six months for New Cypher? Six months. Uh, within six months, we're hoping to hit testnet within a few months from now, if not next month. Uh, then after that, hopefully mainnet in the summer, in which we'll do an ICO. Um, so hopefully that's within our six months and that improving the protocol and getting some new things added to it. Cool. And if people want to find more information about New Cypher, what is the best resource? Uh, go to our GitHub, which is github.com slash newcypher, or go to newcypher.com and also join our Discord for more information and our mailing list and Telegram. And also Block Geeks will be doing a joint venture with Newcypher, so heads up for that. Cool. Thanks, John. Thank you.